An eight-member committee led by the former President Sri Ramnath Kovind has been formed to discuss the simultaneous elections in India. Their task to examine and make recommendations for holding simultaneous elections for Lok Sabha, state assemblies, municipalities, and panchayats. Simultaneous elections have been part of India's history. In fact, after independence, this is how elections were done in India. The first four elections to the parliament and state assemblies were held together from 1952 to 1967. But in the late 1960s, due to the possibility of early dissolution of Lok Sabha and state assemblies, the national and state elections got misaligned. So, why consider simultaneous elections? Firstly, to reduce the cost of holding elections. Secondly, to prevent policy paralysis due to the frequent imposition of the model code of conduct. Thirdly, to reduce the burden on crucial manpower during the election time. Plus, there are chances of higher voter turnout if all the elections are held at once. This is because the migrants are more likely to return to their native place to cast their votes once in a five-year period. However, there are practical difficulties, logistical challenges such as the need for twice as many EVMs and VVPAT machines. Additionally, amendments to multiple constitutional provisions are required, including Articles 83, 85, 172, 174, 174, and 356, which are related to the conduct of elections, by-elections, and no-confidence motion. Further, such an amendment would also require the ratification by at least 50% of the state assemblies. Political consensus is difficult due to the concerns about benefiting the national parties at the expense of regional ones. Also, regional issues may get ignored as the general elections to the parliament tend to get more attention than the assembly elections. Last simultaneous elections was held in 1960s. Hence, an entire generation is not familiar with the idea of it. Therefore, there is a need to explain how and why one has to vote twice or thrice. The idea of simultaneous elections has been brainstormed earlier by many committees and commissions, including the Election Commission of India and the Law Commission. So, what are the key recommendations? The Election Commission of India in 1983 and the Law Commission in 1999, in its 170th report, recommended simultaneous polls to the Lok Sabha and state assemblies. Further, the Law Commission, in its 170th report, gave three alternatives for synchronization of elections. Firstly, advance or postpone election timings in certain states to synchronize them with the Lok Sabha general elections. Secondly, conduct elections only twice in five years. And finally, conduct all elections falling in a calendar year together. The Law Commission also suggested replacing the no confidence motion. With a constructive vote of no confidence to address the legal confusion if an assembly or the Lok Sabha gets dissolved prematurely. Similarly, the Parliamentary Standing Committee on Personal, Public Grievances, Law and Justice recommended conducting by-elections together on a predetermined date. The elections are an integral part of any democracy, and how these are held is equally important. So, should the current system stay? Or should all the elections be clubbed together? The committee's recommendation in this regard will play a crucial role in shaping the future of India's electoral process.